Today I'm saying goodbye to my beautiful stay here in the Selva La Condona or La Kandan jungle to go deeper into the jungle to find two different Maya ruin sites, Bonampak and Jakshalan. They are located deeper in the jungle and apparently it's quite the adventure to get there, so I'm looking forward to this adventure. After saying goodbye to Tres Legunas, I was picked up by the tour company. We first made a stop at a restaurant to place an order for lunch for on our way back from Jachilan. Then we continued our trip to the boats. Our drive took about an hour, although Jacques Chilin is not accessible by car, which meant we would spend the next 45 minutes in a boat down the river to get to the ruin site. And although it was lovely to be back on the water, the threat the jungle faces of deforestation was also clearly visible on this trip. Arriving at Jachilan was already an amazing experience with all the spider monkeys hopping across the trees. Wow! After a trip with the tour, bus and a 45 minute boat trip down the river we have made it to Yakshilan and this place is absolutely incredible it used to be one of the major cities here and it's 40 kilometers up river from Piedras Negras which used to be its major rival and I'm really really excited to go and explore this epic place we've had a warm welcome from some howler monkeys and spider monkeys so we are definitely in the jungle walking around the Grand Plaza which is this huge open space with it had a lot of buildings but there are also labyrinths but you cannot go in there and there are also uh, other buildings but they are a walk up slippery stairs into the jungle so we can't actually go in there because it's rained a lot and it would be too dangerous we have also been warned for poisonous snakes there are three different types of poisonous snakes including the coral snake which i've already seen previously in the jungle so we just have to be careful for our steps and stay on the paths if there are any So what I'm walking through now is apparently an old ball spot. There are three different platforms and then there are two walls and this used to be maybe a sport or a hobby but it was a symbolism for good and bad, day and night, life and death. So I'm quite curious to know how one of these ball games would have looked. Also a male howler monkey that is going absolutely crazy we can hear him howling and howling but because their voice carries so many kilometers I'm not actually quite sure if he's in the area or if he's like further down but he is definitely putting on a show <laughs> seems to be this pair of stairs that is going all the way up and it also is going into the direction of where the sound of the howler monkey is coming from and I can see more ruins at the top so I'm gonna make my way up and see what we can discover up there okay this is definitely quite the climb going up and we're not even there yet wow <laughs> Chakshilan is home to over 80 known buildings and the structure I am walking up to is structure 33, which is thought to have been dedicated by Bird Jaguar IV in 756. The Mayan ruins at Chakshilan are known because of their very well-preserved carvings, which show the extensive history of the location, giving an in-depth view of life here. I've made it to the top. What a view. Man, oh man, this is beautiful. Okay, 
Okay, so the building that I just saw was called the Gran Acropolis, and it is absolutely epic. I'm gonna walk down to one of these smaller buildings again because it's green and it looks lush, and I'm curious to see what it looks like. And then I'm gonna try and take the back route because this is where I saw the tour guide coming from, so maybe there's something down there. The early history of Jacques Chelang dates back to about 350 AD and continued for six centuries until it was abandoned around 810 AD. By 510 AD, the city claimed its spot as a regional capital. So these two buildings are actually also part of the Grand Acropolis, which I saw at the top there. And while I've been walking around here, my imagination has just been going wild on how it would have looked like to actually live here back when the Mayans still lived here. You've got the monkeys everywhere, the lush green jungle, and yeah, I just wonder how it would have been like to actually live amongst all of this beauty. So I made the decision to not get like a guide here at the Jacques Chelan, even though it was only 200 pesos to get a, a guide who was part of our tour company to actually take us through Jacques Chelan and then also at Bonhomme Park uh, because I like exploring by myself and reading the boards and taking my time and deciding if I want to stay somewhere longer or not. And um, yeah, there are quite a few others from my tour that are taking the tour guide which is fine and they're probably learning a lot more than what I am but I like going on discoveries by myself. So in total here at Yakshilang we're getting one and a half hours to walk around which I think is almost coming to an end but I just wanted to give some information about the tour that I booked the tour costs 1100 pesos if you're coming from Palenque, but because I got picked up in the jungle, it cost me 1000 pesos. But if you're going from Palenque, the whole package includes a breakfast, a lunch, all transport, uh, and entrance fees to Jacques Chilin and to Bonham Park. Uh, what I have really seen online is that if you're doing this by yourself and you're coming with a car, it could end up being more expensive because you're not allowed to actually drive into the Lacondon jungle. You have to go with Lacondon, so you're going to be paying every single fee yourself, uh, which apparently totals a high amount. I'm not sure if that was just a sales talk or if that is true, but for me this was 1100 euros, 1100 pesos, and that includes, yeah, like I said, two meals, all transport, and the entrance fees to both sites, which I think is pr quite okay. Once our visit at Jachi Lan came to an end, we got back on the boat, back on the bus, and back to the restaurant for our lunch. It was quite a nice lunch with three courses. For me, it was a soup, fried tortillas filled with potato, and a squishy dessert with Jamaica sauce. After lunch, we were put into a tiny little combi to get to Bonham Park. After a super crowded little combi trip to get here, we've arrived. These um, ruins are not supposed to be the most impressive in size, but they are the best preserved murals, Mayan murals. So I'm really excited to see this. So they said that Bonham Park wouldn't be as impressive as some of the other sites, but as we're walking towards it, it is absolutely humongous. And I'm already impressed by the size of it, even without seeing the murals. One thing I'm not looking forward to is climbing up all of these stairs. So although Bonham Park is a lot smaller than Jachilan, it is a Mayan site known around the world for its well-preserved Mayan murals. The murals at Bonham Park are so well-preserved that you can clearly see the depictions. There are three rooms with murals and each room tells a different story. Unfortunately, room two was closed during my visit and this room depicts the greatest battle ever seen in Mayan art to date. So 
So first of all, I don't know how the Mayans didn't kill themselves just coming down these stairs because the stairs are so super steep and I had to walk very carefully. Then the second thing is, yes, the murals are super impressive. Like it's really beautiful to see and also beautiful colors. However, the second one was not open when we were visiting today. And also they rush you to just get in, take a video, take a photo and then leave. And of course I can understand this because everybody wants to see the murals, but it does take away a little bit from the experience of being able to just go in and have a look at it because Right now, I don't feel like I got a lot of time to just have a look at them. I just went in, snapped some videos, snapped some photos, quick two second look around, and then that was it. So yeah, if you're coming with a tour, don't expect that you're gonna have a lot of time to look in the murals. Once we finished at Bonham Park, we had a long journey of three and a half hours back to Palenque. What is up guys? Good morning. So last night I got to my place in Palenque where I'll be staying for a couple of days. Yesterday it took about a three hour trip back from the ruins to get to Palenque. So it was a long drive uh, and I napped most of the way so there wasn't much to tell you guys. But the nice thing about the tour, what they did is they didn't just drop everybody off in one spot and make them walk to their places or find a taxi. They actually dropped everybody off at their according hotels which is lovely so i was dropped off in front of the door yesterday was such an adventurous day i loved going to see these ruins because they are still so hidden in the jungle it really 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 was exciting to go explore them go on the adventure of going on the boats going to judge so this was one of i think my most adventurous things that i went and did uh, and I would really recommend if you're going to be staying in Palenque to not only visit the Palenque ruins but also go take a day into the jungle and to go and find these. Anyways, this was it for this video. I'll see you guys on the next adventure.